Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Today's topic, why are Elden Ring players worse than other Souls game players? And this isn't bias. <laughs> I swear it, it isn't. And there's a very good reason and there's a very real logic behind that as well. And I'm going to say it right away. It's because Elden Ring does not teach its players how to play. Uh, it's really simple. It's really all that simple the l2 because elden ring has such an emphasis on the l2 button because your ash of war because your spells are just so much more effective than all your other options very often or almost always your best option against whether it's bosses or whether it's enemy players is going to be to press l2 or to use your ash of war it's going to be uh, very rare that you see a new player gravitate toward other attacks than the Ash of War. Because the Ash of War usually offers simply more damage, more range, and can be uh, can yield just higher DPS in general. So it, it really makes sense that people would develop this habit of gravitating toward mainly their Ash of War. It's because it, they are the best attacks in the game. It's really all that simple. Some builds are better with, you know, spamming jump attack for DPS, but for the most part, for most things, your best bet is to spam the Ash of War. And I would say in previous Souls game, there was more of an emphasis on uh, varied attack and varied attack being used for different situations. Having a situation where your running attack is the best, having a situation where your fully charged R2 is the best. Now, very often, your Ash of War is either a projectile, so, you know, you don't need the range of your running attack, and it hits as hard as your fully charged heavy attack. So, right away, it just takes care, it ticks all the boxes, and there's not much of a need to do, like, either of them. Obviously, though, as you get better at the game, uh, you'll see that it is not, you know, always true. But when you're starting out, for most situations, that is what you realize, and that is how you get to mostly spam the same attack, spam the, the L2. Like, uh, for instance, there, were, there was a saying in Dark Souls 3 that it was an R1 spam game, and for the same reason as Elden Ring is an L2 spam, it's just that the game gave players a bigger incentive to just keep pressing the same button over and over again. And so that was the main reason behind it. Another reason why uh, players are worse than general in Elden Ring is probably due to the fact that uh, overleveled are stronger than ever as well. Since the game has so many projectiles, so many uh, powerful high level attacks, the max level phantoms are just so much more stronger in Elden Ring. You can delete bosses and players so quick in this game by stacking uh, damage type by stacking a bleed status effect on top of having optimal damage for your for your character at max level and so the help you get from summoning a max level phantom is even more significant in this game and so that definitely would participate in making players worse in general and not you know uh, having them learn how to play the game properly and I, we can mention a little bit like how you'd play the game properly. Really, playing the game properly is a very vague term, but I see this as learning when to use each attack for their strength and when to not use other attacks for their weaknesses instead of always going for the same attack that is seemingly better in every situation. But uh, this isn't really always true, that's the thing. So this is my theory, guys. You don't need to uh, <laughs> you don't need to agree with me, but that is definitely the way I see Elden Ring right now, as far as uh, the people we fight and what I've recognized over the my long time playing these games. So, guys, I hope you you've enjoyed this uh, this quick uh, <laughs> this quick vid, this quick uh, voiceover, and I'll catch you guys up next time. Take care, guys. Go here, we're gonna fight uh, around the this this part of the map. Mm. 
We're gonna hit uh, blue balls to help us. My favorite. Like one of the best help. These balls are pretty strong. They're pretty clutch. Um, dude, how thirsty was he? Like, seriously, like... That's free. We'll take that. And the host is right here, just in time for dinner. Ah, a good player. blue somewhere there he is Of course. Of course you're going there. <laughs> I hate this place. Bro, stop hesitating. <laughs> I brought you food. <laughs> Get some food for the bat. Okay, let's try. Let's try something different. <gasps> oh my god. I almost fucking fell off there. Where's the host? A fall off is real. Okay, let's not use that. Where's that blue at? Okay, there you go. 
Okay, now the host. I think I have an idea. Oh, I just heard something. I feel like he could be there. Mm hmm. Let's try, um... Seven, if you want, go. Where, uh, okay, there, there you are. Trying to do that out of stun. Start of gank carries outplayed and saved. Oh, crab coming in handy. Oh my god, PvE being useful for once? What year is this? <gasps> okay. I was about to say, this guy's not dead. There you go. Got a friend. Went down. Where Phantom? Jet. Wow, how original.
good fight. Bro, you saved me. Maybe Turtle is elusive with his movement. Oh, maybe third old cave saving your ass, Mungus. Oh, it's just dude, the frame traps are deadly. Mind put fucking key. Wow, he had time to do that. That's crazy. Put R2 there, among us. Fuck out of here, you scrub. It's 
Saved by the bell there. 